In 1680s France, rumours about a mysterious prisoner began to spread throughout the country. The dramatic story was that an anonymous man had been imprisoned on the express orders of the French King Louis XIV. His identity was a secret and his face was obscured as he was being forced to wear an iron mask. The prisoner was always in the custody of a former musketeer, Benin de Saint-Mars. The two men moved in 1687 from fortresses in the Alps to the citadel of Saint Marguerite, a small Mediterranean island near the coast of Cannes in southern France. When Saint Mars was appointed governor of the Bastille in 1698, the pair transferred again to Paris. A Bastille official later wrote of the strange accompaniment of his new superior by a mystery man who was always masked and whose name is never uttered. When the mystery prisoner passed away in the Bastille in 1703, it was documented that a man in his fifties had been interred at the St. Paul Cemetery in Paris and his clothes and possessions burned at dawn. It was recorded that the walls of his prison cells were even scraped and whitewashed. The unknown prisoner's unbearable life was said to have been decreed directly from the French throne. King Louis XIV was known by supporters as the Sun King and renowned for expanding and strengthening France's borders. However, the king's opponents viewed him as a near tyrant whose belief in divine right as the concept that he reigned as God's representative on earth had rendered France a virtual police state. For Enlightenment thinkers, the masked man personified the brutal suppression of King Louis XIV. There were many theories of the identity of the masked man. During the Nine Years' War, from 1688 to 1697, the Dutch, fighting to repel French expansion, used the rumours to undermine the legitimacy of King Louis. Dutch agents circulated claims that the masked prisoner was a former consort of the Queen Mother and the King's real father, making Louis illegitimate. In France itself, other speculation centred around various members of the extensive royal family. Some thought he was Louis de Bourbon, Count of Vermandois, child of the Sun King himself, and his mistress, Louis de la Belliere. Louis de Bourbon had been expelled from court after being declared homosexual. De Bourbon had tried to win back his father's favour through battles in Flanders, where he became ill and probably lost his life. Some speculated that he had actually survived and been secretly imprisoned by his father. Others believed the mystery prisoner was Francois de Bourbon, Duke of Beaufort, a cousin of the king and one of the leaders of the Fronde, a rebellious faction that the king had suppressed. Although Francois later perished in war, the unlikely claim of his kidnapping and imprisonment by the king persisted. Come the 18th century and the number of possible identities multiplied, from would-be royal claimants to the throne to corrupt financiers and even their valets. Among the most influential and enlightenment thinkers of the time was the writer and philosopher Voltaire, who postulated that the prisoner was a brother of Louis XIV. Although earlier accounts had described a mask of cotton or velvet, Voltaire believed that the mask was constructed of iron and even had a built-in chin made of steel springs to enable the prisoner to eat while wearing it. Voltaire had been imprisoned in the Bastille in 1717 and claimed that he'd been told the masked man's story by its oldest inmates. He outlined the reputed qualities of the anonymous prisoner as being of majestic height, young, of a graceful and noble figure. He was undoubtedly a person of importance with refined manners and he played the guitar. The mystery prisoner was also reportedly served fine food, precluded any contact with the other prisoners and visited only by the governor. Still, many historians believe the mystery inmate did not wear an iron mask, but one made of black velvet, and then only donning it to hide his identity when being transferred between prisons. Over a century later, French novelist Alexandre Dumas used Voltaire's account as the basis for a character in his massive tome, The Vicomte of Bragelon. His version propounds what became the predominant theory of the prisoner's identity the man in the iron mask was in fact Louis XIV's twin brother Philippe, who had been born first and was seen as a threat by the repressive Sun King. In recent years, this theory became favoured, with popular Hollywood films depicting the plight of the unjustly imprisoned twin brother. Logic dictates that there must have been a strong reason for the obsessive covering of the man's face, but debate over the mystery continues on to the present day.